Okay guys, it's Michael here. I'm bringing you, if you guys notice, if you're using the old cracked version of the app for the tap to walk or any of that stuff, you will now notice with the 1.1 update, 1.1.1, I believe it's already gone. It won't even, if you try to open the app, it'll just crash. So I wanted to make an updated video how to get in even better. This version is so much better than the other one. It's insane. It has so many features and it's so easy to get. It's so much easier than the last one. So first I'm going to show you the few, a few of the features. So here you hit this M, you minimize everything so you don't have to see it. But if even you don't want that M, you can hide it here at the bottom with the H. If you want to bring it back, just triple tap the screen. Boom. It's all back. Another amazing feature, you know, Poke Vision, everything is down. They also removed the steps over here, so it's super hard to find anything. But in this app, it still shows you. So look, you go to the map. These are the things in my area, Charmander, Meowth, and Pidgey. So I can see them on the map and see how long they have till, till they're gone, which is amazing. That's just like Poke Vision. But if you don't even want to do that, you just go to the list. You just click the one. I'm going to click this Charmander and hit done and it will run me to the Charmander. Okay, I happen to be right next to it, but just trust me, it will literally run you to wherever that Pokemon is and run around in circles until it pops up. So that's amazing. It also has this feature that kind of helps you throw the ball better, more down the middle. I haven't really messed around with it enough to see how it's supposed to work. Let's see. Yeah, so it just throws it straight down the middle. You still have to do kind of how hard and stuff, but it doesn't veer off to the sides and stuff. So that's amazing. Let me go ahead and catch this guy. Boom. Look at that. Right down the middle. So you still got to do how high or low it's going to go, but you can send it right down the middle every time. That's in the settings. While we catch him, I'll go ahead and show you. That's the enhanced throw option. Show joystick or not. You can make that thing disappear if you want. Um, do your speed. I have mine set to driving. So you guys, I'll let you go through all these and figure it out. So, okay, first thing and most amazing thing is that you can just find the Pokemon. So we see there's a Pidgey there. Let, let me just give you one more example. Okay, so there's nothing else on our map right now. Shoot. Okay, well then I'll go ahead and show you. While you're on the map, you can go places. Let's say I'm over there and I want to go to here. All I do is click at the bottom, walk here, hit done, and as you'll see, I'm walking over there. And then we'll see, I'm sure we'll find some more Pokemon on the way and then I can... Uh, kind of show you how this works better, the tracking system. So this has a built-in tracking system all on its own. So you don't have to worry about these steps or any of that stuff. And you can walk anywhere and it'll do it as a re at a reasonable speed instead of teleporting and getting a soft bin or anything. You can still teleport if you want um, using Xcode like I used to in my old video. If you want to teleport like to another country or something, I'll show you how to do that down below. Okay, so you just saw a Spearow popped up on the side here. I totally missed it, but that was just letting you know. And if it pops up there, you can click it and you'll walk to it right there and you won't have to do any other steps. But so now, okay, we see it on our map right there. So I could click on it there. Well, I'll just click on it there and it'll take me there. Watch. I'm not running. So it's located it. Now it's just going to wait until it comes up. Let me double check. Cause he, he would usually move around more. Oh, it disappeared. I guess it ran out of time. So let's go back to that Pidgey we saw. This is the Pidgey we saw earlier. I guess that was the only one in the area. So it's going to take me all the way back to that Pidgey. Oh, wait. Wait, Doug Trio. Okay, so I clicked the Doug Trio. We're going to see. He sensed it. Now he's walking. Now we got to wait for it. Where are you? Let's see if he's even on this map. No Doug Trio on this map, but as you can see, it was right. So he's not even on this map, but the game, this app, knew that he was actually there. That is crazy. This game knows better than what's actually happening what the game tells you is happening. So that's huge. If for nothing else, that's amazing. Um, you've still got the tap to walk feature, as you can see on the joystick there on the bottom right. You just, it's a joystick. I mean, it's not hard to figure out. Um, okay, so these are, I think those are the main features. Okay, that little house on the bottom left, uh, when you click that, it'll take you home. So if you don't want to go run far away and then accidentally teleport back home by closing the app or something, you just click home and it'll run you all the way back home. I'm kind of far, so I'm not going to do that now. I want to stay down in Malibu. So I'm just going to stop and turn my joystick. And as you can see, you don't walk as fast as when you choose a location, just using the joystick. So you want to use your map first. First and foremost, pick where you want to go. I'll be like, I want to go over here. Click walk here at the bottom. Hit done. So that's how you get around fast. But once you're there, then you use the walk feature with the joystick. Okay, guys, so those are the highlights. You're insane if you don't get this because if for nothing else, it tells you where things are, where the game doesn't even know where things are. As you can see with that Doug Trio, the game didn't even know it was here, but my app did. So 
if for nothing else, you guys should use it for that. Um, all right, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how to get it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is delete your Pokemon Go. You can't have anything else there or it will conflict. Then you want to download Cydia Impactor for your iOS. Whatever yours may be, I don't know. I'm going to click here for Mac because that's what I have. You figure out what you have. The second thing we have to do is download the actual Pokemon Go game file. I'll put a link down below for that too. Now this can be tricky if you don't know what you're doing. You're going to hit download file. Um, at first it will take you to a separate window and that's just going to be some ad. Make sure you don't click anything in there. That's not what you want. You close that window. You come back to this window and it'll still look like this and then you hit download file again. So you hit download file. It's going to take you to an ad. Close out of there. Don't click anything on there come back here, hit download file, and then you'll see this. Just download as free user and you'll be able to get it right away. Once you have those two files, you're gonna open your Cydia Impactor. Uh, mine is down here in applications. Um, I installed it, you, you can just click open or whatever it is for Mac, so that'll open it. This, your phone should pop up here. If not, you have to have iTunes and you have to be logged into your iTunes. Then we're just gonna drag the game right into Cydia Impactor. You're going to log into your account. I'm not going to show you mine, but you just use your iTunes login. And then you'll see it going. It'll install. It will ask you something. You just allow whatever it's asking you. And then it will pop up. You'll see it come up here in a minute. Um, and also, if you get an error when you type in your password, I, th I believe it's like error 150 or something. It's something about having to create a password or something. If that happens to you, it means you have two, um, what's it called, two-factor authentication on your iTunes account. So you just have to go in your iTunes account settings under security and just turn off two-factor authentication. It's very easy to figure out. If you're confused, just Google turn off iTunes two-factor authentication. It'll tell you it's very easy. Um, once that's off, then you try it again. Just do your email and password. It should work just fine. So here it's extracting the package. Um, we're just gonna wait. This shouldn't take more than maybe two minutes. And we'll see our new Pokemon game pop up here on our phone. Verifying application. And okay, there it is. You see it just popped up. I'm gonna click it here. We're gonna wait for it to load. All right, allow to use our location. Just like always, as you can see, I already have the joystick here. That's great news. We got the M. That's, these are our settings. Oh, wait, don't hide menu. Okay, if you hide menu, just triple tap to bring it back. So just put in your birthday and log in like normal. All right, here we go. Now we're logging in. Um, I guess it can send me notifications, whatever. Okay, this is part of the new update. So that's it, guys. Now you will have all these options here on the left. You can minimize them here, or you can actually hide them. All you have to do is triple tap on the screen, and they all come right back. Okay, guys, so that was it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Please, if you like this, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to comment, share, subscribe, tell all your friends, tell everyone, because this is huge. This is a better version of the game that Pokemon put out. They put out this update, and it made the game worse, but this update on this app, on this cracked version, makes it so much better. Also, guys, really quick before I go, I totally forgot to mention this. Um, the certificate on this hack expires in one week, so basically, it'll stop working in a week. You just delete it, you reinstall it. You know, you already know it only takes you one minute, so it's not a big deal. This is the only way to do this without jailbreaking it. There is a way to do it permanently, but then you have to jailbreak your phone. So the only downside to this, not having to jailbreak your phone, the trade-off is you have to do this once a week, which is not a big deal. So that's the only thing. If it stops working after a week, just know, delete it, reinstall it. No no problems. Get back to it. Okay, guys, that's it. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.